Why did Roman Reigns return to the WWE? Roman Reigns made his return to the WWE after a four-month hiatus at SummerSlam, helping Cody Rhodes retain the undisputed WWE Championship versus Solo Sokoa. However, after making a couple of appearances on SmackDown, Reigns was taken out by the Bloodline on August 16th, and hasn't been seen since. Since Brock Lesnar's last match at SummerSlam last year, Reigns has only had four matches. Crown Jewel vs LA Knight in November The Royal Rumble in a fatal four-way match. Knight won of WrestleMania 40, teaming with The Rock, and losing the undisputed WWE Universal Championship against Rhodes on Night 2. Now that Reigns has returned, he is already on hiatus again. He has no scheduled appearances, no scheduled matches, and although he is still seemingly part of the Bloodline storyline, there doesn't appear to be any reason why he should, if he is not going to actually get in the ring and wrestle. 2025 will be John Cena's final year as an active wrestler in the WWE. Based on the number of appearances he is planning to make, it seems the WWE Universe will be seeing far more of John Cena than the so-called original tribal chief, Roman Reigns. Therefore, it seems the Reigns appears to have at least one foot out the door. Stuck somewhere being a retired and active wrestler. Unfortunately for Reigns, he cannot be both. Thus, he has to decide who he wants to be. A barely part-time wrestler, who at least has a few matches a year, or a more or less retired wrestler, that shows up occasionally just to be acknowledged.